Jaleek Felton, 6'3 combo guard from South Carolina, was last seen in the States playing basketball for the University of North Carolina. He is the number 28 ranked recruit on ESPN and number 29 on Rivals for the class of 2017, and many thought he would be either dominating at North Carolina as of right now or in the league, but we rarely hear his name anymore. What happened? What up, y'all? We back. You know the vibes. Thanks for tuning in again, and if it's your first time, be sure to show some love and subscribe to the channel. Alright, now let's hop back into the video. Jaleek Felton, whose uncle is NBA player Raymond Felton, so from early on in his life he had a pretty good role model to look up to, because as we know how tough making the NBA is. Felton is a native of Mullins, South Carolina and attended Mullins High School, and was able to play on varsity in his 8th grade year in Florida. As just an 8th grader, Felton averaged 14.7 points per game, 2.5 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 3.8 steals per game. He was a prospect with a very high upside, and in the 2013 John Lucas International Middle School Combine, he brought the top 7th and 8th graders to Houston, he showed out and began to gain interest from many high majors early on in his high school career. Though he had a lot of offers and schools to think about, including Kansas, Louisville, Wichita State, and North Carolina, Julie had his mindset on where he would want to go after finishing his last three years of high school, committing to the University of North Carolina in his sophomore season on December 29th of 2014. He killed him this year too, averaging 28.8 points per game, 5.1 rebounds, 6.6 assists, and 2.4 steals. For the spring season, Felton played for his uncle, Team Felton. They are part of the Under Armour Association, where elite prospects compete against each other, such as in the Nike EYBL. This helped him improve and raise his rank on the recruiting board the 28th in his class, though arguably, he could have been higher because he always rose to the occasion. His strengths are slick handle, he has a ball on the string, he changes direction with eases and Felton acquires tremendous ability to stop and start on a dime. It says he was elite and allowed him to get to the lane at will. Felton's jump shot has never been straight knockdown, but his form looked pure, so he had a lot of potential to be a great shooter. He continued his dominance through all the winter and spring season, and decided to end his career going the preparatory route, attending Gray Collegiate, to help him become more prepared for basketball at the high major level. Through this preparatory school, he averaged 26.3 points per game, 5.4 assists, and 4.8 rebounds. Jalik went into North Carolina looking as if he would be a problem with some time, as he would have to play behind Joel Berry, but once he got his chance, definitely put NBA scouts on notice. But it didn't pan out how a lot of people had thought, and personally, I was shocked. His highlight of the year was scoring 15 points and 5 assists versus West Carolina. Jaleek's North Carolina career was very short, playing in only 22 games, and due to his limited minutes, we didn't get to see his real game. But he averaged 2.9 points per game, 1.6 assists, 1 rebound, while only shooting 38.7% from the field. That is when things started to get very strange. Felton was suspended from the men's basketball team indefinitely, but his attorney insisted that the suspension was not a punishment, but rather a time for the specifics of the case to be invested. These specifics of the case were most likely very serious because the university gathered evidence and allegations of misconduct, but to this day we have no idea what happened. But his attorney said they involved very serious personal stuff. Will we ever know? I'm not sure. And after all this died down, we have not heard much about Jaleek, but he is still hooping. In 2018, he took his talents overseas to play in Slovenia, where he only played two games, notching 31 in his first, then was offered to play in Finland for the BC Nokia, an elite Eurobasket team. It is good to see Jalik still balling out, and hopefully he keeps it up. It will now be a more difficult route, but I still see Jalik making it to the league one day if he keeps working. We see guys go overseas all the time and come back to the league killing, so why not him? I got my best hopes for him as long as he wasn't doing nothing too shady, along with those investigations at UNC. What do y'all think about Jalik Felton? And if you have heard of him before, or even if you just heard of him right now, you a fan, not a fan, and do you think he'll make it to the league? Let me know down below. And until next time, it's been Calso Scope. Peace.